Hey, what's going on, man? This is Roy Panchisi coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna, this is basically a follow up to the last video we did showing you guys how we went about adding the car spotter effects to our GT Neo wheel profile in SimHub. This video is gonna show you how to basically add to that. So we're gonna add a little bit at a time um, in a series of videos just to get everybody acquainted with how this all works, all right? So, we're adding the rev indicator, the rev bar onto the wheel at this time. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit where it says add effect. All right. So we're looking for the RPMs. Uh, we're going to go with RPM. It has a regular one. Um, it's a different effect, right? So I like the gradient. We're going to go with the gradient. Hit that arrow right there. And I think we're going to do a... Uh, like a red to maybe green. Yeah, let's do a red to green, see what that looks like. All right. We need an LED count of, we're going to leave that at 16. And we're going to have a start position of 59. So start position, not going to go over that. Um, refer to the last video it'll go over what we mean by star position basically it's just where you want um, the beginning of the effect to take place all right so in doing that it added about one two three four five here without us even doing anything so um, actually seeing it like that kind of gives me an idea but we're gonna leave that alone for a bit all right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to where it says minimum RPM, right? Because we want to bring this down a little bit. So we're going to bump this up. So about, I'm going to do, we'll do 32, all right? We will do 32 and have a maximum RPM. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we're going to do percent. And that's about it. So we're going to go over here, back to the game to see what this looks like in action. All right. And it's flashing exactly where it's supposed to. Bring it in. You know, I've been trying to figure out like the perfect pit stop, but it really looks like it doesn't exist, bro. <laughs> to be honest. 
I, I want to stop so perfect to where it doesn't have to adjust the car to just save as much time on the pit stop as possible. But anyways, back to the video. So we're going to go back to Sim Hub because really, the, we can just end the video right here. That's how to do it. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to take it a step further and um, create a little bit of something different. All right. So. All right. So we're actually going to um, create yet another rev indicator. So we're going to this time we're going to have it come in from the side. So both left and right meet in the center. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add another group. And within this group, we're going to go ahead and add a car effect. So we want RPMs again. We'll do the gradient. Add one more. I think we're going to end up doing three effects in here. So let's go ahead and get another one. And one more for good measure. This last one is going to be just like one um, dot. <laughs> so <laughs> we're pretty much going to see how that works out. So RPM. All right, so first, we, um, what's the colors we're working with? All right, so we're doing red to yellow. Sorry, red to green. All right, so uh, we're going to go with a maximum. Uh, we're going to do 30 for maximum RPM. Is that showing on screen? Yes, it is. We are then going to do, what are we going to do? We are going to, all right, so we're going to have a start position of 59 led count of 16 right so that should so we're looking good already um what we need to do now we need to cut all of this down in half so how are we gonna do that all right so we do we need an LED count of seven. Half of sixteen is eight, but we want one less than that. So we're gonna go with seven. This one is going left to right. I think we can go ahead and leave everything as is for now. Move on to the next effect. Uh so we're going from red to green. This time we're going from right to left, right? So I think we need a start position of 60, I want to say 67, and then we need an LED count of about 7. We'll see how this works out in just a bit. All right, let's see what we got. All right. Everything looked like it's coming to plan. Our practice session is over. So we got to um, move quickly here. All right. So, so we just want to do one more thing. All right. So for this one, where do we put this one? All right. So six. 67 so hmm that might be what we need right there we'll see but we just want an LED count of one and now we can move this 60 no that's not where it goes is that where it goes no, that's not where it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Half of nine. We can't really say half of nine. Uh, one, two, three, four. Huh. It has to be there. Yeah, yeah, we good, we good, we good. <laughs> So we'll leave that at 66, 66, minimum RPM. We want it to light up basically when it's almost red line. So we're going to put that to about, let's go with 90. What colors do we want? 
What colors do we want? So we're going over. All right, let's see what this looks like. Wow. That's crazy. All right, so I guess we'll see what it looks like against the AI. <laughs> All right, so I think everything is good to go. Everything should be good to go, my guys. Everything should be good to go. All right, so if we did everything we were supposed to do. Looks good to me. I can live with that. All right, so that's basically how you do it, guys. Of course, you can go ahead and fine tune all of this stuff to your liking. So this is just the next step in um, how to, you know, basically build the profile. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we did two things. We gave you guys two um, LE uh, rev settings. So. That's it for the video, guys. Pretty simple stuff, honestly. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. New to the channel, subscribe on your way out. This is your boy Punch Easy, man. You don't know. Bless up. Peace.